Main engine. Check. Rear thrusters. Check. Picnic basket. Uh, check. Right, let's take them. Hello anyone who may be watching now or later. Uh, welcome to Hillian's Hell with me, Hillian, as along with... Here! <laughs> the, the first part of that got cut off again for some reason. <laughs> uh, Drakir! And? Hi, I'm Rom. And welcome to Showcase Sunday, number 51 actually, so we're yeah, almost a full year of this stuff. And, uh, yeah, for those not in the know, uh, or who well, <laughs> didn't notice the description with the notification, uh, th in this we give four games, about 15 minutes to half an hour uh, of time, to see if there are any fun for streaming or not. Or just in general. And, uh, yeah, I don't test these much beyond if they want to start up and work with OBS. So, past this, we won't know if this uh, strange realm of mine will work or not. Uh, just need to set up one last thing. There we go. And yeah, first thought when this game came up like this was, uh, okay, is this going to be an Edgelord story or something? Yeah, let's, let's take a quick look yeah. at the mechanics. Yeah, that, that was an interesting choice of uh, menu words. Yeah, disassociate. That makes me think this is going to bring up, uh, yeah, psychological stuff like the demons within and such. I just think dis disassociate means exit. Hello, yeah, that's saving. That's what Hello, the game saves automatically. The controls can be changed in the launcher, except for mouse sensitivity, which you'll find in the options. If there's escape. The game is supposed to be dark. You have a torch. Don't be afraid to use it. Count your bullets. Reloading empties the clip magazine. If you need help for escape, read the reflection. For inverted y-axis, change it in the main menu. At one point in time, the universe was focused on me. It made this. But whenever you play this, the universe, you will experience your creation from another perspective. This game is an enclosed universe. It does not reflect real life. Anything experienced here is an explanation of the realm universe. Okay. And no, you're not just seeing things. This is moving side to side slightly. Okay. Uh, no, what's the name? Alien. I don't experience mountain sickness. I'm okay with resistance. What? I think that's... Uh... Ah. And we don't have any clothes, so... Oh, wait. Why did it not... Okay, why did it not change... Oh, that's the color. That's okay. the color. The other one is the... Uh... Let's go with this. So, what What are these two for? I don't experience motion sickness. It's probably because everything keeps moving. That's probably going to set off some people. So, okay, let's... Yeah, let's turn that off, just in case. And I guess resistance is... yeah. Difficulty. That's the difficulty. Okay. This is me. And then the colors don't even matter because it's a black and white picture. The uh, end. Well, that was short! Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Wait, let's see. No. When we die, when we, we lose die, parts we of lose ourselves. Parts. Uh, you want to read it? Okay, who reads it? You go ahead. Okay. When we die, we lose parts of ourself. We lose our memories, our body, our gender, our race, our status. Continue. Hmm. What we don't lose is our morals, the way we looked at life. The end is but a new beginning. Yeah, getting a... <laughs> Pretty edgelord so far. Yeah, probably. Hmm. Oh, look, we're staring into the abyss. Oh, yeah. we're dead. A or B. Yeah, the, <laughs> the tunnel with the light at the end and all of that, I'm guessing. What the? Uh, Is that oh, really oh, wait, the tunnel, wait, though? 
Yeah, okay, we can move. We can move this around like this. This is not at all. Okay. It... I was expecting something different than. Uh, what was that HIO game called again? Agario. I was expecting something other than Agario. Or is this just a prelude or something? I think it's a prelude. Yeah. Probably. Oh, uh, for um. There it is. Where am I? What is this place? In a place like this, God is dead. Okay. Okay. Oh, so it's going to be a first-person dungeon crawler. Let's see. Is this a case of uh, Minecraft beats Amnesia? Well, yeah, I mean, we apparently be... have a gun, so not entirely. Okay, what is this here? A, a geodude Wait, that... Gun? Uh, okay. I think Minecraft's a guns. Or Amnesia, for that matter. Amnesia does have weaponry, I believe. And you've yeah, probably not yeah, played much modded Minecraft if you haven't seen any gun mods. Well, oh, yeah, I do know of the mods, of course. Yeah, and no, Amnesia doesn't really give you weaponry other than just the torch to light your way because you can't really kill anything. Yeah. Well, it's sort of kill whatever that was. Ow. But they only did five damage? Okay. And again, there's a One bunch more of end. these things. Okay. Um, oh, yes. Out kit there, I'm guessing. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave. My dog wants to go out, so I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, Alright. See you later then. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Hmm. Oh, it's <laughs> even dripping from the freaking ceiling. Hmm. Okay. Does so make me curious. Amnesia... Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, you go ahead. I was just asking, when did Amnesia get guns for... I don't recall watching Amnesia and don't remember any guns at all. Now, I might just be misremembering. But I think there was one... Oh, I, I think I'm thinking about... Uh, that other Amnesia... Oh, hello. An Amnesia-like game. Uh, I forget what it's called. But you play as a cop in that. Um, Alright. And lo and behold, we actually found a gun here. Yeah. The question is, how do we open this thing? Wait. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, a bit of pipe work. Uh, there. There. And there. Okay, thank you. Clever puzzle. What was we need to find a key for the slot? But no, no, it was part of the puzzle, not a keyhole. Okay, quite simple. Um, I just blinded. Oh, hello there. Uh, what was I thinking of earlier? Mm -hmm. Now I've forgotten why I was talking. <laughs> I was going to talk about. Oh, let's just see what. Okay, two. Two shots takes care of these, but so does two no, hits with the torch. So I think for now we'll be safe with this. Oop. What the hell are you? Just upside down people or something? They look very unsettling. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember now what the hell that game was called. Uh, it wasn't Amnesia, but it, it was in a very similar style, it, you, though you did have combat with that. Hmm. I'm drawing a complete blank. Wait, was it Dark Corners of the Earth? Mm, don't think so. Right, so not the Kufula game then? Mm, nope. Elevator. Pardon. 
still having buttoned sore throats because of the infection that somebody brought home. You, you mean you sound almost like you knew who did it? <clears throat> uh, one, uh, someone said that someone you know, did, oh, was the first with it. So I, you know, I didn't notice if they did or not. But uh, yeah, this should heal in a, a day or two. So by, when, by the time we continue on with uh, Death of the Outsider, it should be okay again. Or yeah, it, it shouldn't it shouldn't be issued for too long at the very least. Okay, that's yeah. blocked. And as I admitted to you before, Steam, you're not exactly a loud person, so. Yeah, I wouldn't be screaming myself hoarse <laughs> in any case. Yeah, and we don't exactly play too much. Yeah, we play games that are very scary horror-like, but not actual horror game. It maybe this one is an exception. Maybe. Mm. Over this is more unsettling. Yeah. Seriously, what are? Oh, hello. So we probably won't be doing many games that are having jump scares as such, like. Games that likely would not make Hillian scream. Actually, what's your usual fear response? Uh, sort of depends. Uh, typically, flee. I think. <laughs> All right. So you you don't scream. You, you don't scream. It's not screaming when someone jump scare you or such. No, I'm not Markiplier and such. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have heard that some uh, big Let's Players like that have been accused of faking their uh, reactions and such, and with some, I guess, it could be you know, somewhat true. I don't follow the main... Oh, I don't follow most of them, so I couldn't uh, tell with... Well, most, but Markiplier at least seems uh, genuine with when he gets the shit scared out of him. Yeah, Markiplier, you accept the guy, oh, they, they are not faking it. But most of the time they have to get jump scared is when they all talk about it and you get off, caught off guard. Yeah. I think someone that, yeah, I think someone that they have, have analyzed them said that they are not faking it. I think it was even, some people accused PewDiePie of faking it, but he did not fake it either. Uh, with PewDiePie, he, he just annoys me. I find him more annoying than anything else. Yeah, back and forth. For, when I watched his Amnesia, was it, um, I did actually like him in some some uh, horror g games, but uh, there have been also some movies I did find him annoying. He goes a little bit up and down with me. Let's see. Okay. I think I know it was some YouTubers that did, did some research with some people that can identify fear and such. And I forgot which YouTuber which were faking it. Yep, I didn't really have picked that up early. Uh, yeah, I think Ow. the ones that did fake it, I usually did not watch much of to begin with, for they really felt the uh, over to begin with. Forced. Yeah. Like, yeah, you, you can have a very strong reaction and you get frightened. And you can usually tell when it's acted up or not. Yeah. Okay, reload this thing, shoot out another eye. I, I hope there's a bit more to the gameplay than just this, because... Hmm. Yeah, this is only the second level, so I presume that more stuff will open up as we go. And again, I don't remember... Uh, oh, it's a painting. I don't remember uh, how much I paid for this game as such. And some of these games are really, oh, there we go, really cheap, like only uh, a buck or two. So, yeah, you shouldn't expect, like, massive quality from uh, so, from uh, games that someone made and is selling for just two bucks or so. Yeah, you can expect, if you're lucky, a very good story, if you're lucky. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. In the midst of all the chaos, we build a safe haven place where we can feel calm. A moment outside of time to help us recollect ourselves. 
Also, with the motion sickness thing, I think that we turned off the head bobbing. That was probably in this word. We lessened it, probably. There's still some. Personally, I have no issues with that, but I know some people do. Uh, it can depend there. for me a lot uh, on how much the head bobbing is. Uh, all right. Ulrich, welcome to Tavern Limbo. I've been waiting for you to wake up. I'm Ulrich. I'm sure you have a lot of questions and you'll get the answers soon enough. Too much information and it will be overwhelming. Hello, where am I? This place is your safe haven, a safe zone in your mind. So here nothing can hurt you, so feel free to spend as long a time here as you feel as necessary. Small uh, translation error, I think. Uh, before you embark on your first quest for answers, let me just break the somewhat hard digestible news for you. You died. How did I die? Does it really matter? Rapper, whatever happens, well happened. You can't change that, I guess. Oh, and by the way, this realm is well in your mind, so there are things in your life you haven't really digested yet. Things that you are afraid of, regrets, hatred toward uh, people in your life. What I'm trying to say is you better be prepared to meet these things head on, as they have manifested as monstrous beings in this realm. How can this be in my mind if I'm dead? The simplest way of putting it is that the mind resides outside of your body. Yeah. Now if you go on your first course, let me open the door for you. Oh, and by the way, if you happen to find anyone who's in need for, of a safe place in your adventures, feel free to bring them with you. Wait, what, what course? The one that just opened up, I presume? Okay, uh, usually the twist of it was all a dying dream uh, only comes up at the end of a game. <laughs> yeah, and hmm. I have to say, I like this art style. Yeah, it's simple but nice. Yeah, they, they yeah. did quite good work with it. And simple and nice and just runs well is generally good enough if you ask me. Yeah. Now let's see. Mindless being neglected feelings. Killing anyone who'll disagree, fighting for survival is not enough for me. Okay, that rhymes. <clears throat> Pardon. Unexpected acquaintances. Okay. So, oh, hello there. Uh, I can't tell if that's a cat or a dog. Hmm. I think that's a dog. Let's see. Red Sox rule. Not to be a dick, but what's eh, but it's either red thug rules or bat rat talk uh, or bleh, rat rat thug rat thugs rule. No double S. Uh, uh, even in your own mind, you have grammar, jackasses. Uh, hello. I haven't seen you be uh, around before. I'm Rat. Can I help you? Uh, do you know where the exit of this place is? Why, never mind, I'd, you know, imagine I'd be talking to a rat. Hey, who are you calling a rat? I'm a mouse. Look, I'm a tiny tail. <laughs> Some manners. Oh, sorry, uh, how do I get out of here? You see the big dog over there? That's Doggo. Uh, right behind him is the exit, and well, he has refused to move from the spot ever since someone stole his favorite toy rabbit. So if I find that toy for him... Yeah, if you find it, Doggo claimed and some weird creature took it and ran toward the sewers. But the rat, uh, rat dogs uh, locked the sewers up, they have the key. So I'll ask them for the key then. About that. Rat dogs aren't, the, uh, aren't exactly the friendliest of people, but I see you have a gun with you. So I assume you can take care of yourself. I'll lock the gate for you, but don't uh, say I didn't warn you and all that. Thanks, I'll be careful. I was honestly expecting a lot more... Yeah edgelord type stuff uh, but that might come in later in the game <laughs> now, though, it looks like one Ugh. now then uh, yeah nowadays I, I think some people forget that graphic is not everything that makes a game good so, you can make a game, if you know how to do something like this and make it look good, you're set and well, I will applaud you. Okay. 
no damage drop off, so we can snipe people with these things. And is that supposed to be a demonic Teletubby? Maybe? Okay. Uh, oh, okay, that's wiring. From the, from the street lamp that's been knocked over. Uh, can't open that up. Let's reload. Okay, some of these will drop ammo, which is good because I don't think we'll want to rush up to these guys whilst be getting shot at. <laughs> yeah, let's be careful. Already taking a decent uh, beating. Hello. How much ammo can we take? Uh, what the? We, we can only carry 24 at a, at a time, it seems. Official gang name votes. Pirates, red thugs. <laughs> God damn it, Larry. <laughs> uh, okay, I like this game's sense of humor. Yeah, look, I have to confess something here. If you go back to, to that name. That's how we spell pirate in Sweden. <laughs> okay. We, yeah, we, spe we, we, we don't have the E. We just... We file letters, that's it. Nothing hidden up here. I accidentally walked up on this thing and I was everywhere and then with a lot scratched out or maybe just massively on the lines. Uh, do okay. Oh. And yeah, some people won't hurt for us in Sweden we say Pirat. Okay. Simple as that. What is really guys on my front door? I think they did go for the Edge Lord approach, but they they put up some humor to hint that there is some humor in this. Yeah, it's, it's not hatred kind of uh, Edge Lording. Yeah. Here we go. Um, these birds. Or what? <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> he said okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it seems that at least one of them has taken the uh, the advice from the start. Red Tog rules. Uh. Oh dear. It's, uh, oh, come on. <laughs> what the fuck, Larry? Uh. Oh, um. Okay, that is what artwork of a sort. Oh, is that a bird? I think it's supposed to be a bird and a bee. Okay, a beard. Beard. Really, Helian? Really? And there's Larry, because this is Larry's den, and Larry has overdosed himself, it looks like. Yeah, and I saw another creepy painting near to the door. Uh, that one, too. Okay, that's just a monstrous chicken. With hands? Hmm. Sleep. Oh, hello. There we go. He's about to turn away. And uh, yeah, he's got the, the tied off arm, and that's something that I've heard a lot of druggies do to uh, increase the hive. They they tie off their arm so that the blood flow stops, then they inject into that arm, and then when they uh, release it, it just flows in all at once. Let me guess, it, it can have some disastrous effect. Yep. Basically, that's what every that's everything at too strong an effect will kill, including water and air, of course. Yeah, and but I guess I know that some drugs are legal in Dutch in Holland, in the Netherlands. Netherlands. <laughs> Do I think nope. I think there are some that even Dutch the Netherlands have banned for obvious reason. That, okay, I think there's a drug called Spice that is. Very obviously an area for there is no positive medical benefit from it. It is outright deadly. Yeah, there's another one I know of, crocodile, that outright causes necrosis. 
Ow. Uh. And it, it's mostly these soft drugs that uh, are legal or are becoming legalized. Oh, oh right. Because we swapped to a new weapon. I thought we still had the pistol. Oh, hello. Yeah, but the, what we could call hard drugs or... Yeah, that, they, that's basically poison. Yeah. What the? Yeah, I think we should inspect the paint this here almost. What sort of one? Fish? Some sort of, some sort of nymph, perhaps? Uh, uh, I have no idea. I that don't face know looks either like a raptor or a duck bill or something. I don't know if that's supposed to be, to be a snapping turtle or dinosaur or what. And there's another one behind the, the one you shot. Okay. Uh, okay. Miss. Yeah, we're okay. out of extra ammo with this thing. Yeah, what is that painting? That's a cheese, I know. And to the left. Is that a hummingbird? No, it's oh, some no. Sort of machine made to look like a mosquito, partially or something. Mosquito nun? Hmm. What the? Okay. Uh, it's just me of the paintings getting more and more bizarre. Yeah. Uh, yep. Always keep an eye out. Uh, hello. Uh, Larry has seemed a bit down lately. He knows we're just joking with him, right, Frank? Yeah, I noticed that too. I'll go talk to him, Lisa. Uh, well, oh, oh. Wait. Lisa must be the one that we shot. Out. Okay, note to self, don't read aloud in a gang's hideout. Black magic? Cheese hmm. today. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing all of this is supposed to represent... Oh, what the... F oh, there was the door. I thought something ran past. Same here. Oh, shot you. Oh, gosh, what's that on the wall? Conjoined twins. Uh, yeah, let's... Oh, hold on. Um, where is the... This way? Uh, oh, no. There's another painting on the wall there behind you. Let's see, on the left. Okay, that looks sub uh, some sort of Cthulhu, Cthulhu spawn. No. A oh, star spawn, perhaps? And yes, star spawn is, if I remember right, the name of the smallest species, a small species that is worshipping Cthulhu. And I think some people said that Cthulhu is a giant star spawn, or he give birth to a star spawn. Oh, hello. Mm, okay, oh, it seems less like they drop ammo, it's just that there's ammo in certain spots. Uh, this way? More oh, cheese? Back. What the? This way. <clears throat> it's... Uh, always double check because they spawned rats behind us. And what the okay. Uh, a frog? Now I should have ducked back. Is it some sort of? Is it? No, wait, no, that's a frog feet for a frog. What the heck? Uh, I'm guessing some sort of nymph. Out. Oh. Is it nymph? Yes. Okay. We're going to have to swap to the Uzi in a bit, I think. Yeah, okay, so far this game is interesting. Yeah, unsettling, but interesting. Yeah, oh, uh, you are not... I'll just take that. Red Talk Boss. Uh, you've caused quite a disturbance now, haven't you? So what do you want? Money, drugs, turf, revenge, cheese? Uh, give me the key to the sewers. 
Sewer key? Should take it. We used to hang out down there, but then it got infested with those weird creatures. Thanks. Okay. Is uh, another weird picture behind you? I said behind yeah. you. I have no idea what artists those might have come from. Yeah, I don't know. Is, the, is this a f developer's friend? Himself? Herself, maybe? Or so somewhere else? No idea. Let's see. I think I'm finally seeing. I'm a gun rendered, you know, useless, a victim to apathy, a heartless being. I've changed, but I'll never show. Maybe it's time for me to go. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hello again there. Oh, you got the key. The sewers is right over there. Can't miss it. But yeah, that, what she said earlier about the tail is actual fact between rats and mice, but also in general, rats just tend to be a lot bigger. Yeah, and I think they... Yeah, they usually are bigger and have a slightly different body build as well. Uh, and the ears can also be seen in red... Okay, these things again. And also in the ears, I believe. Oh, this one's faster and takes more hits. <laughs> yeah, definitely the ears and head shape even. Like, if you see a mouse, they would more like look like a uh, like a computer, a floppy computer mouse. It was the name probably. But a rat would probably more look like a a bag or something. <laughs> That's one description. <laughs> Or these. They must represent something. Self-loathing. Oh, there's the bunny. Okay. Now, how do we get to that without getting uh, mauled? If it is self-reflex... Okay, maybe this person who died was a gang member? Or... Have issues with gang members. Yeah, it could be that they lived on the streets and such. Uh, not everyone who came from such neighborhoods became a gang member. A good uh, chunk of them did, but not all of them. But even if you are not a, a gang member, you still have to live uh, with a lot of stuff that gangs do in the area. Yeah, they can. Yeah, basically go mafia upon others. Oh, hello there. Okay, I should probably stop... Oh, I should probably stop meleeing these things. Hmm. Ah. Four shots now. Okay. Which means that we can take out... Oh, no, it's not the amount of bullets there in the uh, with the X. It's the amount of car and clips left. Come on, there we go. Okay. And with that, I mean the X three in the corner that's behind me. Okay, that makes sense to be clips, yeah. And yeah, I'm covering up the actual ammo count, but the the pistol holds twelve bullets. And the Uzi holds a maximum of 24, but of course... Oh, Wait, you have fired. a Uzi? Yeah, this one thing. We, we got it from Larry. I missed that. But I did not see the difference between that and the pistol from that angle. Okay. Uh, what are you up to, running away? I am. I have to say, I am curious about where this is going. Yeah, uh, wait. Uh, are we going to overtime now? Uh, no, I started the timer. Where the hell did you come from? Started the timer a bit late. But ah, it is right. about to go off in like 12 seconds. So, yeah. Definitely interesting, but I'm not sure if it really be interesting enough to. Well. Fully go through for uh, what story there is. It may depend how long it is. Yeah. 
Like, if it's, it's just about two, three episodes, we could do it on wait. two, three oh. Sundays. I forgot what it said at the start. When you reload, you waste all the ammo left in the clip. So, yeah, it's better to just empty this thing out before reloading. That was something I'd forgotten from the start. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to that. Okay, let's, let's finish this up first. Oh. And then we'll call it, and yeah, we'll put this up as a maybe, depending on how long it takes in that. So, should just be yeah. clear to just go. We should also check the review if people enjoy it, and such. Yeah. I can't say I've seen it. So far, I've seen nothing truly bad about this, and good dog. You didn't even speak, huh? Uh, ah, hello there again. Dog is a lot happier now. Well, you're not afraid to go wherever it is you're going. I'm kind of jealous, actually. I'm getting pretty tired of this place. This might seem like a strange question, since we've just met and all. But can I tag along? Anywhere is better than this place. Sure. Really? Then, I mean, cool. Okay. And back here. So, let's just take another quick look around. Then we'll call it. I, I am liking this game. It is simple, yeah. but again, simple isn't a bad thing. Yeah, the, yeah, they took what they could do and really made the best they could, and it's showing. <laughs> hey, uh, so you might not know this, but when I'm bored, I usually write some poetry, if you could call it that. Ulrich said I should share them with people and not keep them all to myself. So you want to read one? Yeah, sure. Yes. Oh, hello. I was, <laughs> I was expecting more to be... Uh, Read it. Let's see. Streets. Times change when brains shake. Never mind the walkers, street stalkers. Grabbing someone's collar, asking for his life or a dollar. We are walking game pieces, herd like sheep on tight leashes. There is truly no meaning behind a person's you know, dreaming. Have you seen a dream come true? We'll snatch it away and sue you. Uh, no one cares for a warmer place. It's burning with oil in a fireplace. Hope is dying with these uh, starving kids will kill each other on these cold streets. But don't look that way, We've, uh, we caused our fall, we built towers to control them all. We are to blame for their fright, we caused it all, right? We change as we grow, we all grow, but this is the high uh, they used to call low. Hmm. Not bad, actually. Okay? Uh, yeah, we'll take... we can put this... We can probably put this on a short list for uh, side streaming. Uh, hello again, Ram. <laughs> hello, I'm back. That, also, that looked edgy for a second. I couldn't really see well. I didn't have my glasses. <laughs> uh, well, Where? the game is a lot less edge lordy than the title stream would suggest. Uh, title stream. Stream. <laughs> <laughs> title scream? All right. Uh, yeah. I. Hmm. Now, I, I, I am curious. Than what that implies, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> so let's call it on that one, and then we start the next game. Yep. Uh, which is just... almost the identical title. Oh dear. I'm just gonna sneak off a bit and just throw some food into the machine, and I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, give me don't... time to deal with my throat a bit. <clears throat> okay, I thought I'd set this game to windowed mode, but apparently it didn't stick. Or I just forgot. And that might have been a good giveaway of what this game is. In modern world, you'll die like a dog or something. Yep. It's this war of mine. The final cut. Hey, I know that one. I own it. Yeah. Uh, this is this is not an edgy game, but it is a depressing harsh one. game. Yeah, harsh, depressing. It can be many things. So, uh, why? Is, okay, let's up that a ton. Um, screenshot, please. Yeah, give me a moment to fix this. Uh, where is the 1080 resolution? Hmm. 
There we go. So, if you were to be trapped in an alt in some kind of isekai alternate universe, what would you bring with you? A tank, an assault rifle, or a sword? Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. A tank would run out of uh, fuel and ammo. Same for the uh, rifle. Uh, so a sword would... Well, a sword can also be used defensively. Okay, oh, that's... Okay, it's gone a bit weird with the... Uh, windowed mode because it just shoved it up in the corner without an actual bit for me to move around. Uh, weird. Uh, okay. also for Rom's question, I guess sword or perhaps some books? Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll, we'll, I guess we'll just have to work with that. It is blocking off the chat for me. But, yeah, let's see. Survive, try to survive in the disease. Discover oh, this. Hmm? They made Frostpunk? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah, let's see what has, this has to offer. Timer starts. Day one. We're trapped in a shitty house and everything else is bombed out. <clears throat> oh, uh, uh, feedback. God damn it. Yeah, we really should take a look sometime at what the hell is causing it. Oh, hello. When the Civil War broke out, many people thought it would at last only a couple of weeks. It's been years since government military surrounded the, web, uh, surrounded the rebels in the capital, cutting off all supply lines. The civilian population trapped in the city are suffering from hunger, disease, and shelling. Kathia met both Pavle, uh, Pavel and Bruno before the war. She used to be a reporter. While well, Bruno had his own television cooking show, uh, Pavel was the star of the local football team. Kathia even interviewed him once. Now they meet in dramatically different circumstances, looking for food and shelter. Let's it's see. I think I remember something here. I think I remember the fact that the faces they are both developers and their friends, I think? Mm. I Probably. don't know. And aren't yeah, you going to I, give I, a tutorial game? I could be wrong though, folks, so... If people think I'm wrong, yeah, go ahead and look it up for... I, I could be wrong. It's, it's time to gather supplies. And by that I mean... I don't fucking know. Tear everything down? And the game hasn't done anything to give a tutorial, so I have absolutely no idea what to do. Mm. Some kind of shovel. Yeah, she's oh, digging okay. through the debris for anything useful. Um, yeah, but if she had a shovel, it would be go faster, so... Yeah. Maybe there is a shovel around here. Time is progressing. Oh. Door is locked. Need to find a key for that. Hmm. Yeah, did, did we miss anything or some? Hmm. Or is it just throwing us in without a tutorial? I think, I think Final it... Cut throws you in without the tutorial. Hmm. So anyway, realistic Bruno maybe. Can... <laughs> Anyways, Bruno can cook, but you need a kitchen for that. Yeah. Well, I think we have a fridge. Our rubble is blocking the way. Uh, can you help with that? No, it can only be one at a time. Oh, there goes the shallow. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, hello. Okay, just go the <laughs> direct way. Can you deal with that then, perhaps? Okay, cast here is done with that. Oh, are things nothing found at all? Okay, cast here, can you open that up? She's slightly sick, so she will probably need some medicine. Uh, anything in there? Okay, uh, 
herbs, Take very everything. strange to be used. And then we have some parts, we have some sugar. There's, there'd be no mu moonshine without sugar. Sensor for the fermentation process. And electrical parts. Okay, grab all. Uh, Cassia, can you look that? Bruno can search through that. That is blocked. Uh, let's let's have you look through that. Oh. Raw food. It's edible, but would be n more nutritious when cooked. More herbs, components, sugar, clean water. Okay. And some wood. Yeah, grab all. Nice. And here we found a lockpick. Okay, it's single use, but it opens locks quickly and quietly. Let's take that. Uh, Pavle, in the meantime, can go underneath. And okay, everything automatically gets put into the fridge, where all food gets put there, it seems. That's, that's good. Let's see, someone should search for supplies at night. We can probably leave that up to the runner. The oh cook dear. we're keeping here. A lot of components and a lot of wood. Let's grab all. And some sugar. More shelling. Okay. Um, oh, that can be lockpicked. That is broken. Okay, more. Uh, Bruno, can you go clear that up? That is blocked. That needs to be lockpicked. Uh, okay, that's a bit annoying that it doesn't auto yeah, pass around stuff like that. Hmm. Okay. Pavel, I actually, let's take a look at what this does. Probably for base upgrades and such. You get to work on that. Yeah. So you can build, like, a bed for people to rest, a radio, kitchen, stuff like that. Simple here. Also, radio. heaters. It would be great to listen to current news and weather forecasts. We could be better prepared to deal with hardships if we know about them in advance. Uh, when there's nothing on the news, we can listen to music and brighten up our mood. Okay, we need one more electrical component for that. So let's save those up. You can also build more workshop tables, I think. Yeah. Uh, crude nice. stove, moonshine still, metal workshop, uh, rainwater collector. These are always useful for survival. And, okay, filters to purify rainwater made from components. At the moment... Oh, we are going to need a lot more than that. Yeah, Next. you're gonna have to search when it becomes night time. Let's see. Improved workshop enables the manufacture of more sophisticated items and appliances, providing us with more options to get food or meds. And trade goods. We can upgrade it further to make electrical improvements. And again, we don't have enough. So for now, Pavel gets there. And, Kathia, you can look through the closet. In the meantime, Pavel is the fastest, so he'd likely be the most uh, best equipped to survive on an excursion. Actually, it's best if you wait till it's night time. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, One he can just thing. take a seat then. Hmm? Uh, see anybody in the... In the game, there's a good chance. Stay hidden, stay alive. Oh, we've got our next electrical component. So, Hooray. Pavel, get your lazy ass up and make that radio if we can. Wait, what did you call him? Oh, we need a lot more components. Wait, wasn't this less earlier or? No, hmm. no, that's the same. Okay, I must have misread it then. We are going... Wait. 40 components and... 20, uh, 40 components and... Uh, 5 of those. Wait, that... Do the characters have different... Okay, we have 40 of that. And 5 of those. We should be able to make it, so... Where is it? 
Or do they carry it on their own? On their person or something? Hmm. But we... Wait, I think, what's going, I think I know what's going on. One side says how much you have, and one side says how much you need. Okay. Place it over there. Did you seriously just make a radio and put it in the basement? Yeah, we can probably move it later. If you can't move it without breaking it, I'd be annoyed for it. That's a... In some games, I hate it, but... You, once you build a workstation, instead of just oh, moving yeah. it away, you have to destroy it? Okay, the 40 and the 5 is what we have. We need 7 and 2. Okay. Um, let's see, can we place it? Okay, there isn't much room to place it, so <laughs> we destroyed it for not much reason. But yeah, let's put it there. Uh, Kathia, can you take a look at what else we can make then? Let me clear that up. There might be something good in there, but we'll need more lockpicks for that. Hmm. Okay. What are some things that we can make in the meantime then? We could make some beds. A fire stove. That's probably going to be crucial as the temperature will drop because there is a temp temperature meter. Uh, crude stove. Yeah, let's make that. Because it's always better to cook stuff before you eat it. And Bruno, in the meantime... Uh, yeah, not sure where to put you. Maybe make him build a bed. Oh, there it is. The rebel leader, instru okay, the rebel leader instructed us to warn the listeners not to cross the front line. Failure to comply could result in death. Let's see. Anything else to catch here? Welcome days should be nice and warm, perfect for strolling the park. Okay. And okay, classical music. And this is yeah, the rebel radio. And oh, catching something. Oh. Despite de desperate counterattack by the rebel was trying to lift the siege of uh, Porogon. Uh, the city remains the city cut, off. cut off. Government forces do not allow any aid to reach the city, claiming it uh, would end up in rebel hands. Uh, they have halfway of a point there. Okay, but we have government radio, we have... Uh, rebel radio. Yeah. Then we, we have, have classical music there, and then we have a third here. Uh, we, we have to wear it. Okay. So let's put it on classical. And in the meantime, I think it's late enough to go on an excursion then. No, you have to end the day for that. Uh, okay. Oh, Don't end the day yet. You were still building I, the stove. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> click it. It went on its own, I think. Whatever. Let's have. See. I think Bruno should guard, maybe Katya could sleep, and have Pablo scavenge. Yeah. Now check Let's whatever. See. His name is Pablo, not Pablo. Let's see, shelled cottage. The, the, this neighborhood recently got shelled and many houses are still burning. People are fleeing for their lives in a hurry, so we might find some useful stuff there without meeting anyone. Lots of food, huge amounts of materials, lots of meds, lots of weapons, lots of parts. Semi-detached house. Half of it is in ruin, but there are people living in the other half. They don't seem friendly. At night, you can sometimes hear shots firing from there. You could probably scour the abandoned part for uh, supplies if we managed to sneak past the inherited part. 
Okay, let's try and avoid that. And then we have the Disprepped Squad. It's been inhabited by the homeless since long before the war. They've always been struggling with the lack of food and might not have survived the recent shortages. And they shouldn't be a threat and we could find some useful things here. Huge amount of materials, lots of weapons, lots of parts. But no food. Yeah. So the um, first shattered cottage might be best then? It seems to be yeah. the closest. Yeah, but it's. we'll see how much on fire it is. Uh, let's see. Let's take the lockpick that we have, just in case. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't know if any of this has any use in here. Maybe for trading, I but... Yeah, I think if I remember correctly, there's a place where you can trade. You can also... There's also a guy that comes over and wants to trade every once in a while. Yeah. Okay. Let's just give it a shot like this. We are just trying out this game. House Ooh. is still burning. Is it safe to go inside? Hmm... Okay, good amount of stuff. Grab all. Just gonna check on my food, I'm gonna be right back. Okay. And Rum, make sure he doesn't Ooh. die. Okay. Good boy. You can't take everything, so just take what you can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's at the very least take a peek here. We can probably return here some other time. Hopefully without the place burning down completely in the meantime. And we can still see if we can grab some easy stuff. Oh, did I just see yeah, that noise base? Yeah, that's the thing. You only have this much space. So yeah, you can't just, have like... Let's just grab as much food as we can carry. And you might also we... want to take the water. A good point, yeah. <laughs> we kind of need that to survive. Um, we have enough of these components. Anything useful in there? Just sugar and herbs. Okay. There's somebody there. Oh. They're, they know you're... Shit you, shit, you actually do need medicine. Yeah. Uh, simple medications based on herbs. Sometimes they help, sometimes they don't. Still, they're better than nothing. Okay. Uh, out feedback. God damn it. Yeah, may, maybe you should just swap to push to talk and stick with that. Hmm. Okay. Someone one else two, is scavenging as well. Three. Yep, we can hear you. And there we go. <clears throat> okay. Day two. And this place is looking a bit more colorful. Tonight I had a really good haul. Look what I got. He says to nobody cares. <laughs> All right then. Um, our cook you still can need continue. To finish the stove. Yeah. Uh, back hurts from sleeping on the floor. Yeah, let's make some beds. And Pavel should. Yeah, he's hungry. He's tired. Hungry and tired. And yeah, make a bed. Uh, we can probably... Uh, I think we should spare, save this spot mostly for uh, workshop stuff at the moment. Or do, yep. do we have any place to put this otherwise? Yes, we can there. Uh, rooms, I think. I'm back. Hey, welcome back. Hillian's not Thank dead you. yet. So you did you see, you succeeded in your mission. Yeah. Good lad. Uh, <laughs> okay, only one person can use the stairs at once. And I just thought on first time, since I had my headphone with me in the kitchen, what if Rom has the same thing I had going on, that they yet could turn something on Discord? Uh, yeah, when, 
uh, run. When you go into your settings and then voice and sound or something, uh, do you have the game set to automatic or something? Oh, uh, what do you mean? Uh, I mean, I mean, if you have the voice set on automatic, the uh, calibration. No. Uh, Just taking a moment here to. Okay, that didn't quit the game. Uh, Discord, the user settings, and then in the third block on the the third option, voice and video in English, it's called. Then yeah. under that, there's input sensitivity. Uh, with uh, automatically determined input sensitivity, uh, Drakir and I have that turned on. And yeah, that seems I to. Have... Yeah. I have it on. I have it on automatically determined input sensitivity. Okay, so I... that's not a part of it. Okay. Where was the shot? Yeah. Now then, let's make some food Which for these is... people. And uh, we need what is fuel. But we can make that from components or planks. We have an overload. Okay, it's at a ratio of four with these, and one with these. We know that there's a good amount of wood yet uh, still on that burning house. Uh, let's see, wait. Cooked food, simple cooked meal, more nutritious and tasty than raw food. It gets even better, but uh, and more filling with vegetables. I. Hmm. Does it mean that... Does this make two of them? Or does it just make a better uh, one? I think it makes a better one. For now, let's just make some fuel so we can make some food. In the meantime, these two can just continue building the beds and just rest up on them. I tried to remember some fact in this game. I think they developers are Polish? Don't know. Yeah, it was a while ago. I think it was. I think it was a Jacksepticeye yeah, or Markiplier that mentioned uh, they were at least European. I think. Let me look it up. Okay. All right. I can get his food. Well, thank you for reminding me. Um, Such it. You can actually Ow. warm, warm, warm. Okay, the kitchen is going to be where most of the important stuff is stored, it looks like. Okay. The sick one can go eat for, uh, as well. Uh, she is recovering, but better to be safe than sorry. We'll also have to make Pavel, you know, Pavle, uh, or however you're supposed to pronounce that uh, food as well. Yeah, they're Polish. 11-bit uh, studios SA. They're Polish. Right. So I remembered something. Okay, <laughs> make some fuel. Uh, Kostya, can you go listen to the radio? See if there's any new updates. And, okay, we need a bunch more wood to upgrade this thing. Uh, okay. Make Pavel his meal, and we might, it might be a good idea to make some more meals as well. Oh. Okay, she was recovering. Okay, she was recovering while she was laying on the bed. Okay, from left to right. Uh, ow. Day should be nice and warm. Okay, so we'll still be safe on that. Uh, not, don't cross the front line. I think that is one of the goals, or one of the ways to end the game, by managing to well, cross the front line and get out of the freaking city. Uh, nothing new there. Oh, another <laughs> radio station. Okay, uh, you go back to sleep. You swap okay. out with Pavle. Game was based of the siege of Sarajevo from night that happened in ninety two to ninety six. Oh okay. 
Yeah. Wait, don't you assist 96? I did not do it again. I was a child back then. Nope. I was Demons, not really Darry, watching news. Five stars. <laughs> okay. Uh, we could unlock. Hmm. I kind of want to save those lockpicks for if we find something in while scavenging. In the meantime, yeah, she can just let stay on the bed. Hmm. Part of me wants to. S it's probably not a good idea to send the same person out to scavenge every night. So I think on this turn or the next night. We uh, send Bruno out. It is risky to send out the one you know, that can cook the best. Yeah, but that just means we'll have to be extra careful. So... Let's end yeah, the day. Yeah, good cook is good for morale. Like, if you eat good food, you should feel happy. You sleep in bed. There's a garage right next to the one. You sleep in bed. Actually, Ooh, someone right. should guard. Um, yeah, hard decisions with this. It's a garage. Think... Hmm. Yeah, let... hmm. yeah, let's have Pavel uh, guards now. It wouldn't do much work, uh, do much good to have <laughs> pe our, our people get murdered in their sleep. And yeah, then he gets to sleep on the next night. Before the war, you could have your car repaired here. It was a decent family business run by an impulsive son and his elderly father. If they still live here, they could be willing to trade with us. Alternatively, we uh, might find lots of useful parts there and maybe even some food. Caution advised. Possible trade. Okay, so there are people there. So it would be best to send Katya, Katya out to, well, negotiate. But let's not. Instead, we can see if some of the stuff we picked up here is still here. You forgot the lockpick. No, uh, we. I think we should mostly be able to fill up on yeah the stuff that we left behind. And I, I know they now notice that there's a corpse in there. Okay, grab all of that. It's useful for making food. Nobody in there. So let's just empty this thing out again. Is someone on the upper floor? It could be. But we'll have to get closer to here if they are or not. Okay. We don't need you did this grab the medicine, right? Yeah, we got that last time. We probably should have had Katya uh, use that. Uh, let's take more of the sugar. And then carefully proceed. Okay, I'm not hearing footsteps this time. Let's... Uh, wait. Uh, okay, we can just swap it out. Let's take these. These probably are a bit too... Uh, these are probably better for severe illnesses. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, there is someone there. They're coming to us. No, they're moving rolling. away. Hmm. Yeah, let's just bail out. Probably yeah, be a lot better if we have an actual weapon to possibly deal with them. Trust me, a weapon will what really the? help. What? what happened? I did not expect Bruno to blink on his picture. <laughs> oh, yeah, that happened. Anyways, yeah, they've been doing a weapon... that. A weapon might help, but don't rely on it too much. Yeah, these are civilians, not trained soldiers. <clears throat> Here are your meds, I hope they're worth it. And we're almost out of time with this one. Oh, hello, we've been raided. Someone came at night and took our things... to take our things by force. Oh, fuck, she got wounded. 
Uh, Runa had been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. Someone tried to rob us. They were a couple of scavengers, so they didn't uh, do much harm. Too bad we had no weapons. Pavel and Kasia were wounded, by, and the attackers took a few things. We should put more people on guards. They only they took one water and one food. Okay, could have been worse. Yeah, do it. It means we need uh, more people. Yeah, and Kasia now has a black eye. Okay, um, you go make some food for everyone, you go listen. Oh, you're... okay. Three of that. Probably should be careful with uh, the amount of uh, wood that we have. It's probably going to get less as we go. Nothing new. Listening to Radio uh, Korogan, we regret to announce that our colleague Jovan uh, died this morning. He was shot by a sniper on his way to work. He will be missed. Like four year, years into a siege and you're still going from house to uh, work? Wouldn't it be smarter to just live at this radio station? I think he went out to get supplies and got shot by a sniper. Mm. Could also be okay. Nice and warm still, and that's the timer. Okay. This isn't. I have heard a lot of good about this game, but I'm not sure if it would be good for streaming, since well, it would take a lot of time to get through things. That and being trapped in the middle of, a, of an active war zone and being utterly depressed isn't exactly a fun thing to experience in the middle of being trapped in your own homes in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah. And He's right. They they took one meat, but that was still a, it's still enough to deny someone a meal tonight. But yeah. It's all um, wrong. We get you food tomorrow. <laughs> okay. And Maybe also, I'll play this more on my own time. Uh, you need to say, did someone Bruno appearance wise remind me of you, Helian, for some reason? Okay. This war of mine, Final Cut, and this war of mine stories. I, <clears throat> I need to get the DLC. It's a DLC. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll probably play that on my own time eventually. Yeah. Trademark. And yeah, on to and the third game. Yeah. Uh, stories is the DLC. It basically is a set of short stories within the uh, within the city and this war of mine. Okay. Ah. Game number three is uh, a bit the complete opposite of the previous one. Wow. Yeah, uh, this is Tiny and Big's advent. What was the called again? It's not actually showing in here. This is going to show when we start, but yeah, this is a very wacky game from all I've heard. I sense adventure is near. Isn't it time to put away that silly toy and gear up for action? Yeah. Uh, Tiny, what uh, do you think I'm doing here? Playing this better than life laser simulation and my reality boy prepares me perfectly for any real life obstacles to come. See? Uh, he's so going to get launched. Oh, uh, okay, we actually get to do this. Uh, welcome to a better than life <laughs> laser simulation on your reality boy. Look around with your mouse or the right thumbstick. Do you see the pants? Uh, yeah. WSD. Okay. Okay, so this is the tutorial. Space to jump. <laughs> okay. Hold on, the virtual pants are yours. Okay, good. We have virtual pants. Yeah, uh, no, since the game didn't actually tell what is this game called again, just to have it said aloud, Tiny and Big Grandpa's Leftovers. Okay. What? Push the cubes to get you know, your way to the pants. Hmm? Yeah? You know, that reminds me of the story of Madden Town. Uh, should I even... <laughs> uh, 
I, I will really post the video. Will you be scored for life? Maybe not. Okay. Okay, you got your claw for this level. Let's figure out how to use it. Okay, that thing is obviously out of her reach. Uh, aim at the box, push and hold right to grab. Okay. There's some minor physics with all of this. Always nice in the game. Come on, get up. Okay. Then there. There, it's on the video. Nope. Okay. Right. There we go. I'll take a look at it soon. Uh, probably gonna take a look at it after stream. Okay, oh, use like... your plant skills. Okay. So, yeah, from all of this is going to be a 3D platformer a la. Yeah, Banjo Kazooie, Mario 64 type, I'm guessing, that in each level we'll have to, well, collect the pants. Oh, yeah. Tetris up blocks up there. Okay, um. Yeah, let's push you in between. I think I've seen a little bit of this game in the past, though. I think I quit, quit watching it after I saw the menu. I think I felt, nope. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. <laughs> there you go. Nothing much to complain about so far. There you go. And I forgot to set the time, uh, to start the timer. I really should have something that is on a permanent half hour is timer start or something. Was that a police car that just drove by? Okay. Uh, this one was a bit harder, a but you did pretty well. And then the police walk into your room and is like, Get down on the ground and give us your pants! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't even tell if I am wearing any. So, uh, <laughs> joke's on them. <laughs> yeah, I am wearing pants. Okay. You got your laser now. Who am I? Push and hold the left mouse button to draw a cutting line. Make sure the line covers the whole stone. Release the button and enjoy. And a nice position and happy cutting. Okay. So. Okay. Um, I need to actively aim on it. And I can't cut it. Oh. Okay. We, we can cut this though. And then we have two blocks. Okay, that could get very interesting. Like, interesting was, and concerning. Yeah, it was a it was rather basic up until this point. Let's see. But cut wisely. You can't undo your cuts. If you want to interrupt the cutting, you press my left mouse button again. Okay. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, and it, it'll just heal itself up again. There we go. Uh, bless you! Now I know it was a sneeze. Um, what was when do a dog attacked your mic? <laughs> okay. Oh, now you've got your rockets. Uh -oh. Aim at the box and press middle mouse button to launch the rockets. Push and hold again to ignite. Rocketize those cubes. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. We need to give you the Dutch flag first. In case okay. you land on the moon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so this just gives them a shove. Or do I need to hold it? We need to hold it. Oh, yeah, I need to hold it. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is this is very promising. Okay. And... Oh, that kind of. What well, was ever expecting you to have a rocket boots or rocket backpack, not a rocket gun? Yeah. Let's see. Great. As with every video game, this simulation prepares you perfectly for your challenges in the real world. Now stop playing and catch big. Save your family's honor. Uh, uh...
uh, what's been going on since we've been... Oh. What's going on is that the game crashes. <laughs> okay. So the second we go back to the real world in, you know, asterisk, the game crashed. And kicks yeah. us back to actual real world. Yeah, yeah. it's just tiny and big grandpa's leftovers. <laughs> I actually saw a bit of the crusher icon. Oh, 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 come on. Open GL <laughs> error. Okay. Uh, but it's <laughs> going to cut this short if this happens a third time. The heck could be causing this? It, it ran perfectly before. <clears throat> Pardon? <clears throat> Maybe the game is tired and wants to go to bed. Uh, this oh, no, really a, on the pants cloud. Okay. Yeah, that was just odds. Hmm. Let's continue. Hopefully that doesn't. Oh, come on. <laughs> we gotta redo the tutorial. Can we? Uh, and it. Well. Uh, that's the third strike, so I guess that's one's off the list for now until we can find some way to fix it. Yeah. Uh, Somebody uh, get the virtual duct tape. <laughs> All right. Uh, if we can, I have, I do want to get it to work uh, because it does it does seem like it could get very interesting with the platforming. Uh, for now, though. We are moving on to the fourth and last game early then. And this one got pushed ahead because uh, Drakir asked for it. So rather, I, I told him the, the list of games that would be going up next week with this. And yeah, he he wanted to do this one early. So let's it's start a new it game. up. And it should be catching any second now. There we go. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. I've already played this one. Uh, as have I. I've completely played through this game in eight hours, uh, of which I'll admit uh, I only stopped, you know, I only paused the game uh, after I was already five hours in. Yeah. So oh, we're going to start from the beginning all over again? Uh, no, I, I'll just. I, I really, really like this game. Uh, I am, I've been a Tomb Raider fan since, well, basically forever, since probably the first experience I ever had with video game was watching my father play the original Tomb Raider. And yeah, from there on, I've been a fan since, I'd say. And All right. If, you want to know if, something if, really weird? Go ahead. My bro I my, the first computer I ever had, my brother messed with it, and somehow we found deep within the files of the computer, I had a copy of Tomb Raider 3. Okay. What? I never, I never bought the game. It was in the files, and I just never found it. Yeah, yeah that does a thing. In the post, some old computers sometimes had game installed. Like, uh, someone I knew had... Heroes 2 coming re pre installed on the computer. Oh dear. Yeah, I know my. I don't. I very, I very much doubt that they installed it on their computer, but my aunt and uncle, they had a shareware game called Mario and Luigi on their computer, which was basically a. Uh, yeah. A unlicensed Mario game for the PC, and yeah, that was also my first encounter with the Red Plumber. God. And, anyways, now let's start with this game. I, w I will say this up front, and <clears throat> yeah, this was quite a while ago since I last played this. Uh, we are eventually getting to these games. Uh, the question is how much of the errors we'll be doing. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking certainly of doing the second era of the Tomb Raider games. By that I mean Tomb Raider Anniversary, Legend and Underworld. 
and definitely this one as well. But I'm not sure if we'll do any of the classic Tomb Raiders or the ones after this one. I, just here up, up front, I do not hate the follow-ups to this game. I just think that compared to this one, I found them a bit wanting. Maybe maybe it was just because I I got a very strong connection with Laura in this game that yeah, I just found the other two to be less. I honestly prefer playing Uncharted, mostly because it feels like playing an action a movie. explorer once said, I don't care. That the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure. But instead, By the way, if she's... She has to be going from the U.S. From the Pacific Rim to get to Japan. Right? Yeah, mm. through, through Dragon's Triangle, yes. I'm not sure. Moments. It could be that they left from Japan itself. When life flashes before us. We find something. Something that keeps us going. Something that pushes us. We got torn in half. Right. Yeah, so you got Titanic. How common is that on ships? Not all that common. But then again, apparently they blundered into a storm that destroys ships, so there's that. And she got decked. Yes, she wants me to jump the ship to getting decked. And I confess, I did not know Square Enix made the Lara Croft games. Ah, uh, they didn't. Eidos are the ones that did, well, I think, but they got bought by Square Enix. Yeah, ah, alright. Actually, it was Core Design who first made them, then Eidos, and right now Square Enix owns the rights. To uh, the Tomb Raider games. <laughs> yeah. All right. And this one was made by Crystal Dynamics. Uh, if I recall correctly, Crystal Dynamics was also uh, behind the uh, the second era of Tomb Raider games, on the world uh, anniversary to Underworld. Weren't they also uh, the one making uh, Legacy of Cain? Yep. Uh, yeah. Although I think the first Legacy of Cain game was actually, um, I can't remember. Silicon Knights. Yes, Silicon Knights. And this is quite a bind that we finally find ourselves in. That's a hilariously flammable thing. Mm. Oh, a bit more fire. Okay. Uh, I think someone did not think this through. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ah. Uh, that was gonna hurt. Ow. Okay. Well, she was down a kidney. 
I will confess, I thought it was an entire pike. <sighs> Enough. But that's the only thing still hurt, but I thought it was gonna be way worse. Also, pro advice, when impaled with something like that, do not remove it. You will actually worsen the bleeding. It'll actually yeah. act as a bit of a plug. Remove it you are with a uh, medic. Or have the tools to remove it safely. Oh good, we're in the cult base already. What is this place? And see, I, I wouldn't have guessed by all the what skulls and candles. Also, this game is running at ultra. This is big. It's running at the the best it can, at the highest graphics that it can. Hey, can we run it smooth? Yep, full 60 FPS. That, that is good. Uh, your torch is now a stick. Yep. I guess you can whack people with it. That wasn't. Easy. Ooh, this seems to be the boost storage. And Is that a yeah. helmet? Wait, where? And this. No, yeah, oh yeah, that, it's that's a helmet. A helmet. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> neat. Wait, that's a World War helmet. As yeah. that's a, yeah, that's a World War II American helmet. There's a reason for that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that'd be spoilers and all. Okay. And it's inflammable, we can just light the hell up. Though I think we'd rather want to be away from that barrel. That was... You got lucky that didn't, that box didn't land on you. Also, I'm pretty sure you collapsed in the cave. Yep. yep, so let's just get the hell moving. Oh, oh, what? Random asshole out of left field. Okay, that could have been our push. That was close. Oh shit, that was close. Just keep moving. Also, cheap supposed to come back. Bloody, I hate these seats. Very claustrophobic. And look at your Resident Evil camera angle. Yeah, I don't have claustrophobia. I, I can hide that closet if I want to such, but put me in a tunnel like that. Yeah, then I probably would freak out, but there's so much I can do wrong then. Hmm. Let's see. Oh dear. Okay, we've got another waterfall here. We've got fire, but yeah. we can't bring it over there because of the waterfall, of course. Uh, and also for Rom, in case you don't know, the Dragon's Triangle is basically a familiar triangle near Japan. Given the events of the game, yeah, that's correct. It's a real thing, and if I like the more ships has disappeared over there than Bermuda. And still happen. That, that looks pretty modern though, this thing. Um, okay. Let's trap a bunch of junk in here. Um, yeah, the, the Tomb Raider games are in, oh, known as action games, but they are also puzzle games. Um, we just need to figure out what to do here. Hmm. Okay. You probably don't want to shove with that side, Lara. Yeah. And again, this is a young Lara that has no experience adventuring. Now, oh, I see what yeah, we need to do. Yeah, but at the same time, well, you know, that side has a jack, has a fucking hole in it. 
Okay. Okay. That gets all dumped into there. Get out. Uh, yeah, then again, with all of this water, which is likely salt water, uh, that wound is probably already stinging like all hell already. Okay, yeah, yeah, I should have ignited that first. Yeah. And uh, salt is disinfecting. Uh, to a degree, I think, but also uh, salt on a wound still hurts like all hell. Yeah. So it's in a penetrating wound that goes through and through. Yeah, we're just lucky that she's still standing, I think. Yeah, and I guess salt water is not the cleanest. Like, if you had a hand, special hand salt, sure, you could use it, but... Sea salt yes. like that no, might not be the right option. Yeah, that was just me being dumb. <laughs> and conf confusing E and F again. So, yep, third time the charm. Someone took quite a bit of work to set this up. Hmm. Okay, this time the correct button. There we go. Now that everything's on fire, shovel. That, that's sea mines. Uh, Laura? Huh. Okay. Good thing that you took cover. Okay. Those things are meant to take out warships, so uh, I think a cave doesn't stand much of a chance. Uh, are they supposed to be easily triggered by fire? They need to bump into them. No, but um, maybe one of the boxes like primed it. Yeah, but then again, would you need to lift the box to prime it? Yeah, I think they, a certain amount of force needs to be put on them, and they, they were rusty as all hell. So it could just be that the triggers got stuck. Again, why the fire? You again. Look at that guy. Uh, uh, and... And... Oh, oh, that. Yeah, that's also something that the Tomb Raider games are known for, and... Oh, okay, apparently I'm... Uh, Steam is... Notifications are being shown on this, so I'll need to stop for a moment. Oh, why is that showing as well then? Uh, okay, we'll just have to deal with that. I'll just have to turn that off later. But yeah, the Tomb Raider games are also rather known for brutal death animations. What, how the hell are those walls pushing in from like that? Yeah, so I think that brutal death animation is probably a good reminder of uh, to remind you of uh, how dangerous situation she is in. Yeah, but they. Oh, oh crap! God. Uh, animations like that have been a part of the series since the very first one. Yeah, oh. because I respect them for for again probably for what I said. It gives you dedication out in the situation. So they probably knew that from the very beginning that they needed it. Yeah. Welcome back to the land of the living. So that's a plane, so that's plane wreckage. Yep. And a whole lot more of ships. I did say Dragon, Dragon's Triangle is, is the other Bermuda Triangle near Japan. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, what? Is that a... What is that? Or rather was. This circular thing here is... I have no idea it's... what that looks. It's not... Wait, is that... No, it's not a house. It looks like a bunch of, of scrap. 
Yeah, I, I thought it was some sort of gun emplacement or something that must have been broken down. Probably was. A lifeboat. Where are they? They must have gone inland. Also, just for anyone else, um, let's see. Where are where are the subtitles? Try gameplay options. <laughs> Up. Yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, some things can be drowned out with all of the noise. Search yeah, for I always have subtitles on. Okay, take it slow. I have subtitles on, on movies and games. Just in case uh, the sound, the voice gets bottled out by the game itself or someone driving like a maniac. Don't fall. Personally, I. I no, from, shit. From what I've heard, it's actually best to stay low like that. Okay. And to try and crawl over instead. If you slip, then at least you'll land full body on the uh, thing instead of, yeah, going off. Uh, you have better stability when crawling. It may be slower, possibly, but it'd be much safer. And, yeah, safety is what goes first in survival. Yep, look, a B-22. No, B-52. Gunship from World War II. Yeah. I thought I saw that in one on the new Jurassic World Dominion trailer, but it was something else. It, yeah, probably not the best idea to uh, destabilize the already <laughs> precariously placed rockets. So we know the U.S. was here around World War II. Yep. Yeah. Oh. yeah, we almost got bombed by the bomber. Or it might be what a B-17 that? bomber, I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, it's a B-something at least. Yeah, a hell of a lot of junk around here. Wall scramble. Better cleaning up. Sam's pack. Ow. I don't think we'll have the time to get to Sam, Sam! so I would... So I Almost want to point out a little bit of trivia that I found out about this game. That is. Okay, so there's a character named Sam, who is Lara's friend, right? Yeah. You play the game, you know her. Sam? Okay. So Can hear me? the gist of it is that Sam and is that the writer, um, Rihanna Pratchett, I think, wanted to make Sam and Lara a lesbian couple. Mm. Yeah. But executive producers decided no, so in... I'm gonna wait for that to end. Okay. So, what has that happened was that any of Lara and Sam's attractions have this sort of... We are totally only best friends and totally not fucking aura to it. So... And then when the comics came out, uh, the same writer for the game was the writer for the comics and figured, okay, if I can't make them a couple in the game, I'll make them a couple in the comics. Only for, again, uh, Did you write my quote? what? He, he's BRBing. Oh. Only for again, uh, Please respond. executive producers basically saying no, they can't be a couple. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I won't. I could. I won't be spoiling things about uh, this game, of course, because we're still going to stream it. Mm. That's just a bit of trivia that I wanted to like point out. Yeah. Yep. Only one. Only one shot. One opportunity. Something, something. Mom spaghetti. And, yeah, from what I know, starting a fire, you don't try to set the wood itself on fire, you set off, uh, yeah, just dry brush like that, and once that catches fire, it'll spread to the wood. There's my water, there's my water. Welcome back. Oh, I came over and uh, apparently my little brother is so in a bit gonna come over and finally remove the remains of the TV holders on my walls from the time when he lived here. Here's the soon to be world yeah, famous that's Sam who you're Lara hearing right Croft now. In her native habitat, she's on the hunt. Yep, the that's Sam. The, she is totally not Himiko, fucking Lara. Sun Queen, and it is totally Yoshimi. only her best friend. <laughs> no, they don't have. They don't serious. have to be. Oh, sweetie, I uh, know. Yeah, together sexually to, to be a couple Everyone's of sort. So I what know. I know. About? I just want to make I'm that close joke. To something. I'm sure of it. Hmm. I just don't know if the others. They add a lesbian character as a hero, so just. Even if they should. I don't but like when they try to you know force a sexuality for a, on an already established character. When it's already established, they are not I lesbian or anything like that. Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay, okay. And Sam. Also, thanks. anybody else notice that this has been recorded in She's 1080? She's serious, you know. <laughs> okay. Oh, now higher resolution than the stream is going out. How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? But it's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. Oh, no one no. believes Yamata. No one sweeter. believes Yamata is that far <laughs> east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamata. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 <laughs> years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. You don't need a PhD to Look, know that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. <sighs> Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes a Bermuda Triangle look like Disney that guy World. looks like Voss <laughs> after putting on some weight. stories about Queen Himiko say she could <laughs> yeah, summon bitch. storms. Myths are usually based on some I'm version sure. of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the Triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously cons... Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? Had a lot of good dead, did ya? <sighs> yeah, I, I think she'd rather butt heads with Whitman right now than... Yeah, be sitting in a shitty half cave. Yeah. Bloody hick. I can't just sit here. Yeah, and as a continuation topic earlier, uh, as a good example, like SpongeBob, I heard the original creator said that SpongeBob is asexual and he doesn't want any sexuality on him. Oh, Only so for when all died. Yeah, his ring. Of the original creator died. The new oh, owners God. decided on prime mode to say that uh, SpongeBob is pansexual. Even though he was asexual. Yeah. Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah, basically, they disregard the original creator's wishes. 
Yeah, that, and, that's always a bad idea because you're going to piss off the fans. Yeah, like... You want a lesbian character, gay character, fine. You should do this. Make a new character that does it respectfully. Don't force it on an existing character that is already established to not be any of them. That. Ow. And there goes your arm. Yeah, he's Why been hanging he's... there a long time. Why does yeah. that dead guy have a fucking bow and arrow? I'm surprised he's still in good quality. Uh, I'm guessing he was hunting here. You can have the and... best form and technique in the world, but it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. The I'm guessing he was stuck on this island and walked into a trap, or just got hung up there. <laughs> When he got his arms to be tied to his back, I'm guessing he got hung up there. Mm -hmm. Why he didn't take his bow was a different question. Probably yeah, because I'm surprised, the, I'm surprised the bow is still quality to be used. Unless it was recent, also we recently ate him. Actually, given how aged the corpse was, it cannot have been recent. Then it's a damn good quality bow. Okay. Mini, mini, mini. Miss. No. Nope. Yep. Um, nope. Does not give a shit. Yep. <laughs> yep. I think it's because you. And you. Do you seriously hit it in the eye? I think he just did. Also, yep. almost mini misses, he gets a very good hit. Okay. Lunch. I think that the animal is still alive. Do we even have a knife? No, no but that apparently counts. this is gonna make it. This is gonna it work. Just a bit more hard work to use an arrow. Or, oh wait, she, I think she used it to mercy kill it. Yeah. Never mind. You can say she used it to do both. Yeah. May it rest in peace. Clean, I hope she cleaned the arrow first. So I just realized something. We go out, we get to the business like, what, the All one right. time we ever do that? You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can learn to read the land and the stars, You'll always be able to find your way home. Uh, you were going to say? There's no Metal Gear Solid 3 style stamina meter where you like find animals, find and like kill them and make them food, stuff like that. Yeah, that's not in this game. But there's probably mods to make it like that. Uh, yeah. Let's just stick to the normal stuff. And yeah, at, at these base camps we can, well, spend skill points. There is this little RPG stuff. Let's see. Sorry, the leaderboard is here and I hope his drilling is not being heard. Uh, it's not. And we're almost done with this one anyways. The timer is below two minutes. But yeah, we can... Let's see, we can put these skill points into different places, or different... Let's see, survivalists, loot animal corpses, and food caches for extra experience. Uh, sorely search crates, try extra salvage. Okay, it's, it's rather simple in this first game. The lighter games do get more uh, widespread than this. Uh, for now, though... Yeah, I put it on that. arrow retrieval, but okay. Yeah, arrow retrieval sounds good. There was a fun fact, people. Uh, it's apparently very common that if you try to shoot someone wearing armor or oh, wearing a shield ow. with an arrow, there's a good chance that, that you wouldn't be able to reuse the arrow. Okay, just they may shatter on the impact. I need to step away. Something's just. Ow. Oh. What? What happened? Is your cat chewing on your leg? Be concerned. Oh dear, oh dear. 
Did my voice echo in here? What the? Don't tell me you see it's dreaming that my voice echoes. Wait, I did close my door, so perhaps that's why. Oh dear. I wonder what happened with Helion. Medieval chess. Chess was conceived as a game of strategy and skill in the medieval period. It was used to sharpen the tactical abilities of knights and was seen as one of the seven knightly accomplishments. The church, however, explicitly forbade the playing of chess by members of the clergy, but gradually relaxed its view by about 12,000. 12, Men and women also played chess together, and it became associated with flirtation and the battle of the sexes in medieval love poetry. Okay, and wait, why the heck? But I'm I question the heck did just this like about chess. I don't think it's like about bishop in the game. When you hear strange noises coming from under the bed, tape a knife to a Roomba and, put the, and make the Roomba go under the bed. Oh, you saw okay. my little uh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm back. Just <clears throat> start to really sting for a moment. Uh, yeah, we have survivor upgrades and we have hunter upgrades. Uh, for, I believe... Um, it's most useful to just get stuff that gives you extra experience early on because of course extra experience means you get extra skill points earlier yeah, that is kind of practical that you get early speed up in the experience and i think i usually do an attack it if this i can is conrad roth captain of the endurance we are shipwrecked on an island inside the dragon's triangle roth Lara. you're alive easy easy are you okay what happened? I remember the beach, and then it went black, and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth, and a dead body. There were oh, like God. three or four Where dead are bodies. You now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully, someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. <sighs> Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything you I've told you. once climbed Lara. Edward Snowden? For this. Not that one. Keep your radio on. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, we're at the 30 minutes, a little bit more beat to my <laughs> express departure there. But yeah, I, I, I really like this game. I'm I heard, not sure if I know you. I think not, I heard people have mixed feelings about this game. Uh, there are those that. Uh, uh, I believe I one of the. All the ways. I actually own it for PS4 with all the DLC and played it through to the end, and to be honest, I still prefer playing, like, Uncharted, to be honest. It's not a bad game, it's just, I don't really care much for playing it. Yeah, it could just also be that uh, it strokes my nostalgia, because like I said, I've been a fan since the start. Yeah, I wasn't, but, eh, yeah, it's and good. I, and I think, we, I think me and Hila are much older than you. Well, I'm 24, so there's that. Me yeah. over 30. So yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I am warming up a bit to adding the sequels to this game, to the eventual uh, stream list. But... I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be... 
sarcastic a lot of the time, mostly because a lot of things really absolutely make no sense, but it's like... I don't want to try to ruin anyone's fun, just sort of, wait, no, back the fuck up, how does that even work, type thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. But, yeah. Uh, so, let's look back. This strange realm of mine, uh, we'll have to look at how long that is, and yeah, then we could put it on the weekends. Uh, this war of mine, a uh, good game from all I've heard, but not really good for streaming because it would be really slow. And yeah, I'll, I'll try to get tiny and big grandpa's leftovers to work or be more stable. And yeah, like I said, Tomb Raider series will be streamed eventually. I look forward to them. And yeah, we've hit two hours total now. So, yeah, um, Tuesday and Thursday we'll be continuing with uh, Death of the Outsider, with Dishonored, and yeah. <clears throat> so, for now, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you to especially Drakir and Ram. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. You're welcome. And, yeah. Next week we'll be continuing with Dishonored's uh, Death of the Outsider. I'm really, I really want to continue with that. <laughs> but, <laughs> Yay, yeah. bloodshed! I, but, I hope you'll be joining next time, time we play it as uh, Rob. Yeah, I really gotta join up. For yeah, you being missed this, oh shit. cut loose. <clears throat> <laughs> but yeah, until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks! Have a good night, everybody, and good luck. For you're gonna need it.